So how does MLOps differ from DevOps? Now, uh, there are a lot of similarities when it comes to the surrounding uh, work around ML projects and around DevOps projects or Dev projects. Um, but it's important that you don't just take DevOps practices and techniques and apply them blindly to machine learning projects. There are enough differences that that's not going to work out very well for you. So one of the big differences between these projects is the day-to-day -day work. So in machine learning projects, there's quite often a lot of experimentation that can take some time. So trying different algorithms, tuning hyperparameters and things like that. Um, in DevOps or in Dev uh, terms, the equivalent might be a software spike where you try something to see if it's going to work. Now in machine learning, it's really important that you keep track of these experiments because they represent decisions made, paths taken. And it's really important for learning and for future work. In traditional dev, it's not so important to keep those spikes around. They're really just a sandbox to work out whether something's going to work. So that's one area where you need to concentrate on different artifacts in machine learning. Another area is the automation or the training runs. So in dev projects, a build might take a few minutes or an hour if it's a particularly slow one, which means it's perfectly reasonable to have a continuous integration and a build happen every time somebody makes a change to the code. In machine learning, we might be talking about days or weeks of incredibly powerful and expensive training to create a predictive model. So it's not reasonable to do that every single time there's a code change. So there are some techniques you can use like staged builds or staged training runs uh, to get around that. But it's important you don't just take these ideas and apply them blindly.